Hello everybody, this is David from goldstartool.com and today we're going to do a real quick video uh, regarding safety. As you know, safety is first at place of work. Even at home, I know we have a lot of uh, 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 home sewers, quilters, bag makers, and uh, uh, mommies that work from home and they have a lot of kids around. And I usually make sure that I tell them they have kids around, there's a lot of safety that comes with sewing. And even place at work, you got to make sure that safety is first. And that's what we're prom promoting right now. Um, we're going to have a blog regarding uh, safety and videos, and we're going to push safety. So uh, uh, these are a bunch of stuff that we have. There are many items out there, and these are the things that you will find on our website uh, regarding uh, safety. Uh, and uh, we'll, uh, I'll go over one by one. And uh, so there, a lot of them are... You know you've seen before and you for everyday work even if you're doing your gardening so what do you call this um protective glasses do you call them goggles? no no protective glasses protective okay Pro protective glasses right very important if you're doing any cutting or sewing or uh, measure obviously any type of uh, see it's so funny i'm saying this and i cut my hand today <laughs> but i didn't cut my hand uh, sewing or cutting I you know uh, something has happened but <laughs> anyways so you don't, you, you have these glasses are very important to have M major major to have to protect your uh, eyes and I'm going to put them away as I go on number two on our website uh, dust mask yes. and we have these in two types you have one without the filter and one with the filter these are very important to have if you're doing cutting, especially if you're doing cutting, there are gonna be a lot of lint in the air when you cut specialty cutting room services that do thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, yards of fabric. You gotta make sure you have some of this stuff so you don't get any of those dust and lint in your um, uh, system. These are very important to have. So uh, we gotta make sure you have those uh, number three, back support belt for picking heavy stuff up. We have them on our website. They come different sizes, obviously small, medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large. These are very important to have. Number three, when you are working with hot stuff, we have these, what do you call these things? Thermal finger guards. Thermal finger guards, very easy to go on your fingers and when you obviously the other hand not this because you are either if you're righty or lefty depends you put them on your finger and uh, while you're sewing while you're ironing i'm sorry you make sure you're you're not gonna burn your hands now when you have you're doing ironing at home and you have kids down you're gonna make sure that the iron is not on when you have the kids down this is very important so these are we have these in our website you want to look them up. We have them in two colors, I think, or three colors. Uh, I also use them too when I straighten my hair. What do you do? When I straighten my hair. You do what? It oh, it. oh. Protects my finger. All right, very nice. <laughs> Even if you do your hair, you could use this. Very nice, beautiful. Number three, you want to make sure all your scissors and cutting tools have caps or protection safety uh, cap. See, like this is one of the stuff that we sell. And even if you have scissors like this laying around, you always wanna make sure you have one of these safety uh, share holders. And the good thing is that you could always safely put them away and also you could put them on your belt. You know, this is something, it's a must have for home or even at work. So they come in different sizes. We have them all on our website. So for your snips and for your scissors, we have a lot of, um, uh, uh, tools now for your sewing machine we have many videos on this these are needle guard or finger guard different type uh, this one goes on your sewing machine so the needle is here and the foot is here so if the needle breaks or something happens it won't uh, shred and you know hit your eyes or anything and it's, your hand won't go under the foot or you don't you're not gonna sew your foot this is one type and this is another type. Both of them are on our website. 
Okay, you could see the jazz go to needle guard or finger guard and you'll see them. I have those these on our website. Very nice, beautiful. Now, the most common, and people ask me, what is the mesh glove? These are mesh metal gloves. And people tell me, why do you need three fingers? So why do we have these? These are for um, when you do cutting fabric. And cutting machine comes in different sizes. Rosary, straight colors, I didn't bring the straight colors out. But they should definitely have a knife guard like what we have here, or like what you have here. They're very, very, very important. You should have them. And uh, all of the machines that we sell have knife guard, even the big ones. And it's very simple to use. You just up and down to protect your finger and also allowance for fabric cutting, right? Now, this one also has the same thing. But in any case, you must want to use one of these finger guards, I mean uh, gloves. They come in three finger and five finger. And the reason is three finger, people ask us, why do you have three finger? Because usually when you lock this up, and they also come small, are you taping me or are you just? No, I'm recording. You're recording, okay. <laughs> they come small, medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large, okay? And when you're cutting, usually you're going like this. You have your hand here, and usually go like this. So these two fingers usually don't need a uh, guard. This, these are the three that are in uh, contact with the knife or the fabric right here. So even like something like this, right? So you want this. Now, a lot of people don't trust the three finger and they wanna go five finger. And this is the way it is. These are five fingers and you just put them on like any uh, normal glove. There you go. Put them on. And there, uh, you could, there is no left and right. You could, if you're lefty, you could just take it out and put it the other way and put it on on the other side. You just lock this, okay? You see, it has both sides. They should lock and then adjust this, uh, adjust the strap. So when you lock this one, you could use it this way. Now, also, I just want to show you. Don't worry about it, nothing's gonna happen. You see, this is a very, very sharp blade that we use for cutting machines, eight inch. See, this, if I didn't have one of these on, my hand would be in pieces, nothing happens. Now, it is very important, look at my hand, nothing. So it's very important to have this mesh glove. You have it on our website, three finger and five finger. Also, the reason I'm showing you this, and when you have this cutting uh, rotary cutters, you gotta make sure these rotary cutters, I mean, I'm gonna just open up, show them up, show them to you. They're always, you see? You could have them up and down. So we're gonna make sure that when you close it, this one goes all the way down, so it won't uh, could adjust to go down. Lock, out, in, out, so when you have the kids around, see nothing will happen, okay? So you need this, it's very important that for safety that you have your knives, and there are many, many types of this, and we have many, many types of this, and you should always have the, uh, close the guard, so make sure you won't cut your hand. Mesh gloves, the blade, now, just wanted to show you regarding a lot of people when they have their used, uh, extra used blades that they don't use it on a machine, they use it on a knife. And they just wrap a piece of plastic here and use it as a knife to cut stuff. You don't need to do that. We have this specialty, what do you call this, handles? Uh, holder. Holder. Knife holder. Knife holder. And what you do is just open it up and you put this through. You see? I don't want to open it all the way to take your time, but I had to. See, in here. Put the screw over. Mm. 
اوكي انا الفيديو هذا شايل يو هاف ذيس اند جاست تايت يو هاف ا براند نو نايف ناو يو كانت ريلي كات فروت اند فيجيتال وذ ذيس اي مين يو كود بس يو دونت وونت تو بات ات ورك وين يو ورك سي جيت فيري تايت اند ناو يو هاف ا هاندل اند يو كود كات اوكي ناو The most important part I always say you should have cutting mat. Do your stuff on a cutting mat. You cutting mat is a must because you're not gonna ruin your expensive table and it just have, you know, it has sizes and you know what you're doing and you're not getting uh, frustrated while you don't know sizes and stuff. And we have many, many sizes of cutting mat on our website. Uh, David from goldstartool.com. Uh, safety is always Number one, make sure you're safe at place of work. Go to our website, goldstartool.com. See all the safety items that we have. Let me know what are the items that you want me to do next. And thank you for watching.